Our first guest tonight is an Oscar and Emmy winner who also happens to be the most powerful hero in the Marvel Universe. She has two new projects coming to Disney Plus, a docuseries called Growing Up and the short film Remembering. Please welcome Captain Marvel, Brie Larson. <laughs> The last time you were a guest on the show, I you, was seated there. You hosted the show. I did. Last no, what two summers ago, right? I did. I did. And you were fantastic. Thank you. Thank and you, you were a guest Thank on you. the show a number of times, but the last time it was just when Captain Marvel was about to come out, yeah. and then it became it made like a it billion, did okay. a billion dollars. <laughs> yeah, 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 it did. And you. Um, <laughs> And you get like half of that billion dollars, 100%, right? 100%, yes. Oh, you get 100% of it. 100% of the proceeds <laughs> go to me. Yes, the perks. Wouldn't that be great? Yeah, I'm a secret billionaire. <laughs> I saw that uh, they've got a ride, uh, an Avengers ride, including Captain Marvel at Disneyland. It's in, my dream in come Paris. true. In Paris. Is it really your dream come true? Yeah, 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 yeah. So as a kid, you're like, I want to be like Mr. Toad in Indiana Jones. Yes, yes. Mr. Toad's wild ride was always like the pinnacle for me. That was my hero. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. Exactly. It's weird, and you don't remember where Mr. Toad came from, but when you're on it, you're like, oh, this is weird. I mean, good. that story is really wild. It is should it... not be at Disneyland, I don't think. A Mr. Toad's story. Yes, have you been on it recently? I actually did go on it this summer, yeah. Okay, got it. So you know what happens. I, I don't won't remember. ruin it for anybody who hasn't been on it, but it gets wild. I, yeah. <laughs> well, that's. You go the to name. hell. Yeah, yeah, you go to hell. That's right. It ends right. with you going to hell, and then the ride's over. That's right. <laughs> and then you're back at Disneyland. <laughs> <laughs> I, that's right. I had my son on it, and I did have that thought, like, what is going on here? And then it was suddenly over. Yeah. The doors open, and you're out in the yeah. bright light, and yeah. hell's gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so my ride's not like that, actually. Yours it's, has it's no not, devil in no, it. No, I decided no hell. Uh -huh. No, yeah, it just, <laughs> it's more light fare, just a fast roller coaster, hang out with Captain Marvel, you know, save the world, blah, blah, blah. Did you bring, like, your whole family to this? Yeah. Yeah, my family came out, my friends came out because they know that I'm just like, I'm such a Disneyland fan. And so all of them were like, there's no person that this would be like a bigger deal for than than me. Is the reason they put your ride at Disneyland Paris? Because, because I beg you, for it? Because your name is Brie? <laughs> <laughs> like, oh yeah, exactly, yeah. that's right, that's right. <laughs> you, um, you know what, I actually, when California Adventure opened, we were doing this show and you know, we work for Disney as well, yeah. and they have a, a block there that's a replica of this block, and they have this theater yes, they do. on the street. And I said, oh, wouldn't it be great if you put our sign that's a Jimmy Kimmel Live on the street there at California Adventure? And I feel like they said no. Yeah, they did say no. Yeah, yeah they said, seen that there. I think they said no way is yeah, really yeah, yeah, how they yeah. positioned Never, it. Never, yeah. ever, maybe. And yet you got a big <laughs> green light there. I did. I had to do a bit Paris. of a tap dance, but I did. I got it done. It's a true, true, true dream come true for me. Still, you know, it would be fun to, to throw believe. up on your own ride. That would be a thrill. Would it? Um, not so sure about that, no. but it, no. 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 Can I ask you a question? Were you like a workout nut before Captain no. Marvel? No, 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 no. Did that no. get you into it? Yes. And uh, now you're of, still into it. Out of fear. Out of fear of what? <laughs> fear, fear. Failure. Oh. Fear, failure. I thought that I was like supposed to do my own stunts. They casted me and I was like, uh, they low-key don't understand that I'm an introvert with asthma. Like they made a mistake. Right, yeah. Like right. I, I gotta figure this out real quick. <laughs> so I started training and I learned that I was actually much stronger than I realized and that my allergies were what was causing my asthma. So I just like allergy medicine and I could lift heavy weights and it really transformed my life. And Captain Marvel changed me as a person way more than I oh, wow. And you yeah. stuck with it. And you stuck with it. Yeah, yeah, I stuck with it. And now you're doing uh, what appear to me to be dangerous things. For instance, um, this <laughs> is a, um, this is a, oh. what? Uh, that is the Grand Teton. That is. In, uh, up in uh, Wyoming there. Mm-hmm. And yeah. you're on top of it. I am, the very tippy top. I was told that only about 1% of people who climb the Tetons go there, because why would you do that? Uh -huh. <laughs> and why would you do that? When, when Jimmy Chin, who is an incredible person, alpinist, tells you to go and says, it's fine, it's safe, you go like, oh yeah, sure, I'll do it. And my mom was like, huh, seems like 
maybe you're gonna die. And I was like, nah, Jimmy's not gonna kill me. That would like suck for his life, you know? Uh huh. Um, and then while I was doing Although it. Although I would say that maybe Jimmy doesn't care that much about his life, seeing as how he's chosen this <laughs> how as How he his lived job. his life? Yeah. Yeah, but it's more like to live with that would be hard, I think. So I did it, I trained. We were on like a pretty regimented schedule and I did it. Um, it was absolutely remarkable, it changed my life. Um, but every step of the way, I was like, yeah, I'm probably gonna die. Here you are at the top of the uh, of the mountain. We have uh, another. There we are. Yeah. Who with took my this photo? Oh, uh, well, we had a whole team. Okay. Mm -hmm. Where was where was the team? <laughs> They're taking the photo. There's there's footage of it. I did a video. It's on my oh, YouTube channel okay. to kind of like document it to prove that yes, it did in fact happen. Uh -huh. um, and that's my trainer Jason. That's with us. He was part of what uh, you know spurned this whole adventure and that. That top is 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 quite dangerous because you're not really attached to anything. As you can see, the ropes are sort of just laying there. Um, normally, they're tied to something. This they were seems not. like a clear violation of your contract with Marvel, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Did they tell you like yeah. you're not allowed to do yeah, stuff right. like that? Yeah, you're right. I did actually sign something saying I wouldn't do that. Yeah, yeah you yeah, did. And then, yeah, 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 and yeah. Did, does anyone give you a call or anything? They didn't. They didn't. They survived, so uh -huh. it was fine. Okay, was fine. all right. Yeah. Well, you're Captain Marvel. I guess <laughs> it's their fault that you're doing this. Yeah. Yeah, but it's interesting because I, you know, it was very grueling. It was multiple days. It was much harder. There's this term called sandbagging. I'm not sure if people are aware of, which is basically when some, someone tells you like, it's no big deal, it's super easy, and then it's actually super not. Yeah. It's actually very, very hard, and yeah. then you're just stuck on a mountain being like, I, there's no nothing to do but go up. So I got up, and I was like, my pants are ripped. It's been three days of just like grueling, grueling work, and I get to the top, and I'm like, <gasps> like this, and I see this beautiful woman with this like, perfect ponytail and like perfect Patagonia and I'm just oh, like tattered. Lady Jesus? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and I was like, what is going on? I was like, why was it so hard for me? And I turned to one of my teammates and I was like, how is she like this? And they're like, well, there's an easier route that you just like, <laughs> it takes like an hour to get to the top. I was like, why did I just climb for three days? <laughs> I think the moral to the story is don't trust Jimmy Chin. Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're gonna take a break. Uh, when we come back, we're gonna see uh, some of your new show. Brie Larson is with us. We'll be right back. So, uh, we ready? Okay, great. So, before we begin, you're all here today because of your unique backgrounds, and you all have a growing up story to tell. I've wondered what it's like if we all were able to share the thing that we feel is shameful, if we felt like we were able to talk about it, do we feel less alone? And so we're just gonna see if that's the case and how we can relate to each other today. That is Brie Larson, her show is called Growing Up. It is on Disney Plus. The, um... Did those kids know that that was going to be the subject when they came in? Yes, they were yes, gonna, yes, Okay, yes, they did. Yes, yeah. They weren't surprised at all. It was a long process of meeting various young people, talking them through, and, and making sure that they were ready to tell their story. So each episode follows uh, each one of them as they talk about the highs and lows of high school, the thing that they feel the most ashamed of, and then the thing that they're the most proud of. Right, yeah. Mm -hmm. And did you share your thing that you were most ashamed of and most proud of with them? Oh, of course. To I mean, get them going? Oh, yeah, of course. You can't not. I mean, that's the thing about when you're in a room with those people is you can't help but connect in a certain way and you start to reveal things about one another. And, and that's what is so beautiful about life, I think. I mean, I get to do that all the time with acting and with my job. It's such, such a great thing. I get to make eye contact and connect with people. And it was wonderful to get to be there while these young people connected together and learned from one another. At the end of it, mm -hmm. did they feel better, like that they told people this secret they had? You want me to spoil the end of the show? Yeah. Um, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Ultimately, what I found with the show is that when we talk about things, when we talk about the thing that we think is unlovable about ourselves in a place that's safe, with a person that's safe, mm -hmm. we can relieve ourselves of some of this pressure and realize that we have everything in common. Everybody here in this room, I know there's something that is probably deep down that you're like, maybe that's not okay about me. It's totally okay. Mm -hmm. You're good. I am, um, yeah. I, uh, I want to my pants at Universal City Walk. <laughs> and um, I just, I'm feeling safe with you right now. <laughs> and I thought I would share it. I think um, you do and a I whole do feel better about it. right now, actually. Yeah. I, 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 yeah. <laughs> and you overcame it, and look at you now. I did. It was hard to get it out, but once it came out, it felt so good. The 
<laughs> well, it's both of the things. Both of yeah, them. really. Yeah. Both of them. <laughs> and then you've got another show on Disney Plus. What happened? Did they see you on the mountain? They said, you better give us two more shows. Yeah. You're fired or something? Yeah. You... No, no, no. It was like kind of just perfect. Uh, this that is it all a movie. This is a this short, short film. film. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a short film that I did with my partner, Elijah Allen Blitz. And uh, it has this AR component that's never been done before. So it's. it's and tell me about the AR. It's augmented reality. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so augmented reality. So if you think of VR, people are familiar with that. It's like you put a headset on and you're in a totally different world. Yeah. Aug augmented reality means that it's sort of blending in with your life. So with this short film, you could watch it straight through or you can hold your iPad or your phone up to the screen and part of it will come into your living room. So like a waterfall. That's the thing. I watched it last night and mm -hmm. nobody told me about that. And I was waiting for something <laughs> to happen. And did you think you were like high or something? No. Well, no, I was. No, I mean, no, I didn't. <laughs> I, no, I... I didn't know you had to use something. I don't know what I was expecting. <laughs> but I was like, nothing happened. I don't know what happened. But it turns out you have to do like what people do at concerts, where hold up the uh, you hold up your phone, phone and watch the phone. So you watch the show through the phone, just for one part. And then of it. things come into your living room. That's right. You yeah. see dolphins come into your living room. I did I mean, see those. A dolphin in their living room. It's cool. Yeah, it is cool. You know what? It's unquestionably cool. Yeah. To have dolphins in your living room. Yes. It's bad for the dolphins. Not great for them. Well, they're CGI dolphins. That's fine. They're happy they can, to be there. Yes, they can breathe. Well, it's great to see you. Great to see uh, you. Again, Disney Plus shows are growing up and remembering. Brie Larson, everybody. Thank yeah. you, Brie. We'll be right back with Josh Dumel.